background is uh, in uh, structural engineering. I spent a career as a structural engineer working on a variety of buildings, including arts buildings, the most notable of which was Icon Gallery. Uh, I was making art um, at weekends as a, as a counterbalance to engineering and running an engineering office. So I was really trying quite hard not to be an engineer. And I was making uh, abstract collages with torn paper and bits of egg boxes and things like that. Um, and they were all based around the idea of um, the balance between structure and improvisation, because one of my great loves is jazz music. When I retired from that uh, and started to take my art more seriously, I decided I ought to go back to college. And so I went to Stourbridge College to do a foundation and then an HND. And whilst I was in the HND course, um, I, we had a project which was called Recognising the Unseen, which was about, uh, had to be about a, a place within half an hour's walk of the college campus. And I chose a doorway um, which is an old building in 1760, an old OG arch with a, um, an odd detail on one side. Um, and it caught my eye because I know how the forces work in an arch and these shouldn't have worked. I think it was being held up by the building next door. So I made a, an intervention, um, filmed the intervention um, and, and filmed people watching it or not. Some people walk past and see nothing. Some people stop. One woman stopped, scratched her head, went away, brought the family back, and they all scratched their heads. So I thought, well, this is, this is quite like this. At the end of year show, we put the film on, and uh, the head of school said, why did you do that, Steve? Uh, and I said, because the forces didn't work properly, Patrick. And he said, how do you know? And I said, well, you know how I know. You know I'm an engineer. And he said, yes, but why are you trying to hide it? Current practice is um, is involving quite a few different things. I, I, I still am working on looking at spaces, buildings, geometry and the like. Um, and uh, uh, I'm very interested in the three-dimensional uh, effects that can be created uh, using the methods that I use, using the two layers, the perspex um, and, the, uh, and the board. So I draw on the backboard uh, my initial image, then I transfer uh, the basic shapes onto the, uh, onto the perspex as a guide, and then I draw on the inside of the perspex uh, an image which is slightly different from that on the back, and, and that produces the, uh, the shimmering and shifting effects that I'm looking for. Um, I thought I was doing something reasonably new, although actually whenever you go past the bridge and look at the railings, you get the same effect, it's called parallax. Ideal for me is to get something which I hang on the wall and it, it, and it jumps off, it jumps off the piece of work at you. Um, and uh, that's my exploration of space. The, um, there is also a strand where I'm making slightly more abstract works. Um, there are two in the six that you've seen thus far. Um, there's the one um, circling around, which is uh, based on uh, music by Miles Davis. And there is one called Torsion Arcs. I see Torsion Arcs as being part of a a series, I've done torsion straight, torsion arcs, torsion semicircle, and so on. Um, this is based on the structural action of, of, a, of a, a structural member being twisted. And I see myself trying to produce work uh, like that, which is bought based more on a concept, a structural concept perhaps, uh, than on a, uh, an image of uh, a physical piece of, of architecture. Um, and so I'm keen to develop that. Um, I think also the three-dimensional thing is playing more of a part in my mind. Okay, this piece is, um, is perhaps typical of the 
of the development of, of one of the architectural works. This is based uh, on a construction that I saw in uh, an art gallery in Denmark. It's the Louisiana, Louisiana Center for the Arts, which is about half an hour on the train outside Copenhagen. This was in a large gallery and it was a cruciform plan with holes through the middle. So you could walk all around this thing in all directions. Uh, and it fascinated me, so I photographed it and thought, well, I'll try and make a piece of work about that. I usually do something on paper before I start. And I did this on paper and I wasn't all that pleased with it. But I thought, well, I think I'll try. Um, and one of, the, uh, one of the differences, which I do in, I've done in a number of works, is that actually there's only one layer in this area really to try and, and replicate the fact that you can go through it. Um, and it works far better in this format than ever it did on paper. At college, I, uh, I had to write an essay and I chose, the, I chose abstraction. And I chose the work of Sean Scully to concentrate on for abstraction. Um, and my starting point for that I remember I am an engineer, as I went to the Oxford English Dictionary and I looked up abstract. Um, now I remember when I was training to be an engineer uh, in the courses they, we'd had to do some quantity surveying and uh, one of the things they said was well the quantity survey will take off all this, all this measure all the building and then he will, he will abstract the brickwork and the windows and the foundations and put them into separate packages. So abstract actually means to remove from. And so I mean, abstract is taking something from something else and making something different of it. Um, and in that sense, I think all of my work is abstract. So what I'm really getting at is I think but I want my work perhaps to be a little more conceptual. So what's next? Um, I'm working towards three uh, exhibitions at the moment. I think also that uh, abstraction will continue to become a more dominant feature uh, in the way I'm thinking about my work. Uh, I, I, uh, I find more satisfaction it, it, it is actually difficult to do, <laughs> unlike many people's opinions. It, it's not easy to produce a decent abstract work. Um, and I find that challenge really interesting. And I uh, hope to succeed with it. <laughs>